Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best loadouts for Season 4 Reloaded. And so I will show you that. But as you can see in the gameplay right now, I'm using the MP7 Swiss. This is currently my favorite loadout, and I have this set up into a format where I have the top three, in my opinion. So, here is the first one, the MP7 Swiss. For the MP7, Monolithic Suppressor FSS Recon, 5 milliwatt laser, 6 to round drum, simple grip tape. And this is for a sniper support with the Swiss the Sound Monitor Combat Recon, the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight, Bruiser Grip, and Serpent Wrap. If you're playing Quasi, I would suggest using the Guru Suppressor instead of the Sound Moderator. And so, my second loadout is with the Modern Warfare MP5 and the C58, which even after its nerf is still quite good. And then, obviously, on Thursday, it did get a fix where the 4X optic was getting rid of a ton of the recoil. Which, no, it doesn't, but so, my original build was with the Task Force Barrel and the 4X, but now what I would suggest is what I have now, and in my opinion, it's a lot better compared to Task Force and the 4X Optic, or well, 3X now. So here's the MP5 build, the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, 5 mm one laser, collapsible stock, 45 round mag, and Merc 4 rip, and this is meant to be hip-fired, because that's a hip-fire build. And C58, Agency Suppressor, reinforced every instead of Task Force, and the Axel 3X optic instead of the 4X, 55 round drum, and field agent grip. So that's that class. And then my third class here is the Mac 10, which has surprisingly been in meta since Cold War release. And the Bruin, which is quite an old pick. Or you could replace this with the Stoner, which I don't have attachments for, but if you watch my Season 3 Reloaded Best Loudest video, you can see attachments there for it. So here's the MAC-10, Sound Suppressor, Task Force Rail, Tiger Team Spotlight, Raider Stock, and 53 Round Drum. Then for the Bruin, the Monolithic Suppressor, Bruin 18-inch Para Barrel, VLK Optic, 60 Round Mag, and then the, um, Brown Hood Grip Tape, and then this is my MW Throwback Class, the same MP5 class right there. And then the Car 98, and there's that class, Mount Lake Suppressor, Last um, Barrel, Pack Laser, Variable Zoom Scope, or Sniper Scope, and then Stippled Grip Tape. And then for all my secondary classes, which is High Alert, Restock, and Ghost, I have the Red Shield Trill, and then I have my fully loaded class, which is the Growl um, Soykov, Mount Lake Suppressor, Archangel Barrel, Combat Commando, four group, 50 round drum if you're playing duos and solos, and even trios, but then 64 all the other modes, and then fully loaded. Soykov, Monolithic, the last barrel, and then the attack laser, 80 round drum, and then the perk fully loaded. And then I have restocked for that. And then I have the PPSH class, Rue Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, 55 round drum, and list. You're playing quads, and I would suggest 71, and then the SAS, well, the second to last one, then the last one for it, and then Sound Monitor, Combat Recon, SWAT 5 milliwatt, Bruiser Grip, and then the Serpent Map, or if you don't have the Serpent, use the Drop Drop, and so these are kind of just like my niche, they swap around, and this is my kind of, this is kind of like my new kind of like go to SMG that isn't meta. It's AK 74U, Sound Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, um, Target Team Spotlight, um, the last um, stock, and then the 50 round drum. And then for the suppressor on the QBZ, you would want the Agency, Task Force Axel 3X, Solvo Fast Mag, since it doesn't hurt our ADS. And then the um, PLH and 4 
So that will be it for my best loadouts for Season 4 Reloaded. I hope you enjoyed and bye!